Welcome back. And it's time for us to get out of here. So, Samuel. From the way I hear it, Campbell lived a pretty bosh life. Maybe it's not my place to say, but men of the faith shouldn't live like barons. Are you ready to go? Oh, yes, I am. Take me back to the hand pits. Okay, let's go. Time to get some rewards. Ah, okay. Hostiles killed two. We killed two. Oh, Campy. Oh, we killed one doggy, of course. Alarms rung, one. Dead or un unconscious bodies found, seven. That's quite a lot. Ah, uh, but. Well, let's continue. And here we are, back again. In the courtyard. I expect I want to congratulate you. What the hell? Some gunshots. He's alive. Thank you, Corvo. Thank you. My uncle's a good man, and one day he'll prove it. Here. I know you did this for the right reasons, but I want you to take this as a reward. It's an old heirloom one of my aunts gave me. Wow. 100 coins, just for switching a class. Thank you. Can we get in here? I uh, don't think so. It's blocked. But it's nice that we can explore here a bit, so we might do that later. Let's get out of the water cover and They're all cool. if this is going to work, we have to take down the Lord Regent and all his key allies. You know that. Yes. Hopefully the High Overseer is the first step along that path. And we must find a girl, Emily. Who knows what her mind is like, being there when her mother was killed. I'd imagine the daughter of an empress is tougher than you think. Hmm. Quite right. In any case, we won't get the Lord Regent until we weaken his base. All the pieces are in play. He controls the city watch. Through Campbell, he had the religious faction. Someone is funding the military. And he currently has a majority in Parliament. Yes, I'm aware of that. My brothers control the voting bloc for my family. I'm very much aware of that. Alright, so... This whole overseer stuff was some sort of cult or religion after all. Let's so let's have a look. And get our reward first and then we buy some stuff from Piero. And get back here. You did it! Somehow you took down the high overseer Campbell against the odds. I knew you were our man, Corvo. With Campbell gone, we've hurt the Lord Regent immeasurably. And with Martin back, we'll have the finest strategist alive. The Lord Regent must be shitting himself in Dunwall Tower. Yes, and Campbell's journal, let's not forget. Our hope is that in these encoded pages, the location and condition of Emily Caldwin can be discovered. Our entire movement will mean nothing if we can't place the rightful heir on the throne. Oh, nice shot. We must act fast. No doubt the Lord Regent is holding Emily somewhere, waiting to reveal her, to step out as the hero and further cement his regency. If he doesn't bring the young lady forth soon, there will be infighting among the nobles as to who should succeed the Empress. Could you stop yes, shooting in my face? But now you should take a well-earned rest, Corvo. We will decipher the contents of the High Overseer's journal and share them with you later. Okay, some more fancy dreams, I guess. So we buy the stuff afterwards. That's okay. Aren't we already wake up? 
No tree, no. Oh, it seems fine. Okay, so let's have a look around. Maybe there's some more loot now. Who knows? It is every citizen's duty to report treasonous speech and actions. The state depends on you. On me? Good lord. Okay, let's have a look in here as well. Mm, no. Nothing changed, it seems. But it really is a nice town. Okay, so let's go back. Meeting Gabriel, Admiral Havelock and getting our next quest. And I don't think we got paid as well, so I'm not sure if we even get paid for all the main quests. Well, let's see. I know the Golden Cat, not as a patron, mind you. I designed some specialized devices for them. I kept the blueprints, if anyone is curious. Don't. I brought you tea as a courtesy to a colleague. I won't make that mistake in the future. I'm sorry, I... Uh only thought... never mind what I thought. Thank you for the tea. I have to get back to the Admiral. He has news for me. Alright. So let's talk to Airlock first. Hello, Corvo. I expect Martin will be joining us shortly. Okay. I hate to start your day with such a strange matter, but the servants heard something last night. Moving through the storm drains beneath the building. Most likely a weeper, the poor bastard. There's no hope for them once the plague gets that far along. Nothing more than a shuffling corpse full of sickness and insects, if you ask me. I'd appreciate you investigating, just to be sure it's not a nosy guardsman that's getting too close. Here's a key to the hatches. I'd send a servant down there, but they'd die of fear on the spot, I'm afraid. Maybe Piero can concoct some sort of sleep poison for your crossbow if you want to go that route. Oh yeah, those nosy guards. Okay, so we have to investigate the sewers right here. And there's some sort of, I don't know, zombies down there. And we will find it. But first off, let's buy some stuff. Let's see, we have 1,500 coins. That's quite a lot. Something upstairs. Mm, yes, or just perfect. Workshop key. All right. Ouch. Wait, I can get up here. That's amazing. Well, I haven't been on that street yet, so... Well, we do that later. Let's go back. No! Okay, Kova seems to have some quite nice jumping abilities. Or climbing. Corvo, my friend. Do you need ammunition? Oh, yes. Weaponry? Oh, yes. Would you like me to craft something for you? Everything. Okay, new upgrade available, Mask Optics 2. I guess with that we can even zoom further in. Yes. But 400 coins, I don't know. Bone charm capacity. Mm. Bolt capacity, that would be nice. That would mean we could even carry even more sleeping darts, so I really want to buy that one. Yes. And of course, the sleeping boats. No, it's just 10. So it really is just affecting the standard boats. Ah, oh, that's a pity. Let's upgrade them as well. And we take... Yeah, the mask optics. Why not? 
Let's go. All right. So we have to go down there. And I guess it's getting creepy. Ah, hello, Corvo. There are important things we must discuss. But at the moment, it seems we have an unwelcome visitor here at the Hound Pits. Weeper. The Admiral would like your help in investigating it. Prior to sharing what comes next. Okay, so the question is, do we have to take him out? Or just knock him down? Kill him once and for all? Oh, it's stinking down here. God damn it. What? Oh, just ambient sound. Ah, okay, so we can change the zoom level now. Where are we have for? And I guess we can get even closer to any dialogues. Yeah. Okay, let's check this door. And what's happening? Ah, I see. We are in the cellar now. We've been here already in one of the first episodes. What is that? Nothing lootable. I'll just go out again. There's the door behind us. Okay, so... First I was want just to knock him out. There he is. And went away. So do we have to kill them? Well... I'm not even sure if they count as, as a kill, so... Do you really want to waste sleeping darts on them? But maybe they a cure, who knows? Well, it worked. Oh, I don't think there's a cure for that. But, yeah, surprise me. Oh, a rune. Lovely. An ancient note. The next meeting. Okay, so we have some, we have found some runes, up to now we have three, so we can upgrade something if we want to. Don't do ash now, I don't really want to do that. Some special abilities maybe, possession would come in handy. Animal targets, that means we could maybe use rats or scouts. Something like that. But that, I think, is even more useful. Slows down time for a short duration. Yeah, I guess we go with that. Why not? I don't want to use it that often, though. Okay. So, that's all. Come on, get out. <laughs> no. The bravest man. Right. He's with Admiral Havelock now. They want to talk to you. Alright, I'm so brave. 
and or to find us my sleeping dot addiction where is she going by the way oh just nowhere but we can get in here abandoned apartment key needed <laughs> all right Guess it's not that easy to obtain. Is it? Well, anyway, we got work to do. Hello, sir. Corvo. I trust you remember Martin, an overseer before and perhaps again sometimes. Hi, soon. Martin. I owe you thanks for my rescue. Indeed. You've given us a glimmer of hope, Corporal. Because we've gotten what we've wanted from Campbell's journey. You've done it. We know where Emily Caldwin is being held. Oh, the really? Golden Cat, of all places. A bathhouse for aristocrats. Little better than a cursed brothel. But there's an unfortunate twist. It appears that Pendleton's own kinsmen stand in our way. The twins, Morgan and Custis. Not only are they controlling Emily, but they have the controlling parliamentary votes we so desperately need. Yes, the Pendletons have to die. But most importantly, Emily must be brought here safely so we can protect her until the Lord Regent and his entourage have been dealt with. Pendleton's waiting for you on the dock. He's asked to brief you personally. I think it's best. All right. So, we have to go to the Colton Cat. And... Eliminate the Pantatons. Ah, oh, all that murder and assassination. Okay, some more loot around here. Ah, oh, something to eat. Okay. So I guess we stuck up on sleeping darts again and go to Samuel. Corvo, my friend. Do you need ammunition or weaponry? Would you like me to craft something for you? Come on, I want to skip that. Just sell me all the sleeping dots you have. Okay, for all the other stuff. And we could buy a rewiring tool. Why not? Okay. And we are on our way Corvo. to. A moment, if I may. Yes, of course. Corvo. I've asked to speak to you myself. You see, I'm sending you to kill my older brothers, Morgan and Custis. They're horrible men. It's true, as you may have heard. Cruel beyond words. Further, my brothers are close allies to the Lord Regent. And as long as they are in Parliament, we cannot gather the votes we'll need to stop the Lord Regent from further consolidating his power. These days, they're best known for exploiting their favor with him to cheat others out of their wealth. Let's just say that not every family evicted in quarantine for having the plague actually has the plague. I warned my brothers in every way I could. I really did. But they never did listen to me. They'll be at the Golden Cat tonight at their usual revels. They'll be protected by the City Watch, so it'll be dangerous. Now go. Please do it before I change my mind. Well, that's pretty bold, sir. Killing his own brothers. Okay. So what exactly our objectives are at the moment? The Pantatons. Those two guys we saw in that weird dream. We had once. And we have to find Emily, of course. And it's in the same place, so... Should be absolutely feasible. Let's go to Samuel. Hello, man. I'll take you to the Golden Cat when you're ready. I've taken Lord Pendleton enough times, believe me. <laughs> well, okay. So, let's go. Yeah, time for payday. Get you as close as I can to the Golden Cat, Corvo. You'll have to go the rest of the way on your own. The entrance is near Holger Square. 
The main thing is to make sure that little girl, Emily, gets back all safe and sure. Them two Pendletons are there, so I'm guessing there'll be a lot of guards. Slackjaw might have some ideas on helping you get inside the cat, if he don't kill you. This here's his territory. He and his Bottle Street gang hole up at the old Dunwall Whiskey Factory. They sell the elixir that folks use to fight off the plague. I'll lay low, but keep an eye out for you and the little lady you bring him back. Good luck to you. I know Emily must mean a lot to you. Be careful going up the street, Corvo. Well, not really, but everyone needs a target in life. said there's one of those watchtowers on Clavering now. I guess you getting rid of Campbell shook up the Lord Regent. Watchtowers. Alright, that sounds mysterious. Okay, so we have been here before. And we already have been at Holgersquare as well, so... Let's see how it turns out.